Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Captain Kosa and we're gonna keep looking at uh, what weapons are the best in uh, Fortnite Save the World. So today we will be discussing what are the best of the worst weapons. <laughs> this is uh, in my opinion sniper rifles that are the worst weapons. So we're gonna start by discussing which sniper rifles are the best and why. So let's just jump right into it. The best uh, at fifth place in the sniper category we have the triple tap and uh, <laughs> what I really like about this weapon is uh, the DPS combined with the range. Uh, if we had a sniper hero that would be giving some more uh, damage to snipers this weapon would be really good and something a lot of people would be using right now we don't see it in almost any games and it's basically because we don't have any hero that specializes in sniper except for Tetshot Jess and she only has one per like one ability that benefits uh, the sniper and it's 70% uh, crit damage and it's not enough so that is in fifth place if we jump back out we're gonna look at the um, the fourth place weapon and it's actually one from the last event the flintlock and i think it's the old betsy uh, why this weapon is good is uh, because it deals a lot of damage in uh, just a single shot. So I like to give this weapon to uh, some of my defenders uh, because I made uh, made it into uh, obsidian, so I can just crap a lot of them and use them for my defenders if we have a mission. So they use up some of the heavy bullets that I don't really use that much. So it's a good weapon for that. And it's also a good weapon for me because personally I don't uh, shoot. Like I don't really need a scope for most of my weapons. I like uh, not having a scope because looking through a scope makes me lose the overlook of what is happening. So this rifle deals a lot of damage, has no scope and yeah it's just a good all-around sniper rifle uh, what's bad about it is the reload time of 2.5 seconds and the ammo uh, the magazine that just have uh, one bullet in it so it's a lot of waiting for each time you're gonna shoot it and then we're starting to actually get into the sniper rifles that are kind of good so uh, in my opinion, in third place, we have the Super Shredder. Uh, the reason why this is good is uh, because it deals quite a lot of damage uh, in each shot. And uh, it can fire at a pretty long range. And uh, yeah, the, the aim is kind of big. So, like, hitting uh, blasters from like uh, seven or uh, six or seven tiles is pretty okay it's not i think it's seven, six or seven at least the hitting uh, blasters from uh, quite long distance is not any problem for this uh, rifle it doesn't have that uh, big of a damage drop off so it's uh, pretty good to just uh, go for headshots on things that are like the um, lobbers and uh, blasters that are standing like yeah, a little bit away and trying to uh, do some damage or get to the objective you can just shoot them before they are able to do anything so pretty good gun a good uh, all-round uh, weapon and in a second place now we're starting to get into the really good ones I don't have it in my collection book so I'm gonna head over to my inventory 
it's the neon sniper rifle this is uh, definitely one of the best uh, sniper rifles in the game maybe the best sniper rifle and uh, that is because uh, it has quite a lot of damage uh, just remember we are looking at different numbers now that uh, the gun is 106 but it has quite a lot of damage it has a good uh, magazine size and uh, it, the thing that's really making this sniper unique is that it can uh, shoot through walls so giving this to my defenders is uh, really good and something I do a lot of the time they can just spam shots with a neon sniper rifle get a lot of crit critical uh, damage and critical uh, rating and they just go to town on the husks so definitely a really really good weapons for defenders and a good weapon for yourself as well because you can shoot things through walls or through anything actually so it's pretty good only rifle in my opinion that is better than this one is the obliterator and <laughs> the only reason why this weapon is uh, better than the neon sniper rifle is in my opinion that um, when this shoot uh, through walls y it actually destroys the wall so you can use it to just clear up a lot of space that is why I kept mine at uh, 82 if you choose to level it up it's gonna do a decent amount of damage uh, but here I just went with the neon sniper rifle for uh, damage and I used the obliterator for just clearing out stuff so I can just uh, make a bunch of these if I want and just keep shooting down any structure or anything that's um, standing in, its, uh, in the way of the objective and where I want to look so very good especially for like uh, grizzly enforcer where you want to have like a wide open area uh, to just let your teddy do all the work you just spam this uh, before the uh, ob defending objective starts uh, clearing out a lot of the area and then you can uh, basically just let your teddy and your turrets do most of the work so really 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 good uh, sniper rifle and in my opinion the best one so that is all we had for today and uh, next time we're going to discuss uh, melee weapons hope you'll be back for that so uh, thank you for watching hope to see you again and have a great day captain kosa out <laughs>